This is my big orange teddy bear of robot death. <laughs> Hello buddy, DK Guillotine here, and welcome to my review of the Transformers Kingdom Autobot arc. Yes, finally I got him, and oh man, there, there is so much to talk about with this guy. We have got so much to talk about with this guy, and I don't want to waste any time, because I don't want this video to be freaking three hours long. So, real quick, before we get into the arc itself, I do want to show the box, because I actually think the box looks pretty sweet. Really cool picture of the robot mode right there, and then the arc crash into uh, the side of the volcano right there, which is pretty cool. Kingdom the arc, and then on the back, you got some nice obligatory product shots right there, so that is pretty cool. And I also want to show that the picture is the exact same picture that was on the uh, Kingdom card, so yeah. They drew this guy one time, one time, in his robot mode, there you go. But uh, there you have that, let's talk about the arc. We're going to start off with the arc and we'll get to mainframe later on, so... The arc is absolutely magnificent. I will spoil this review right up front. I freaking love this guy. He is so much fun. I I love him. I think he is so much fun to play with. I will spoil right up front that I think he might be the most fun Titan class figure so far. There is a lot to love about this guy. Um, getting in here close on his details, first up, his head sculpt. His head sculpt is so cool in my opinion because it is a reference to the last Autobot, which is a really obscure comic book character. But what I really like about the head sculpt is that if you look at it, it looks like the Autobot logo. That's what you're going for here. Like, here's one to compare. You can see how they've made this uh, this head skull basically look like the Autobot logo, which is really, really cool. And then a Perspective Ends review, he kind of pointed out that that also kind of looks like an Autobot logo as well, which it kind of does. So he has an Autobot logo for his head, he has two on his shoulders, and he has one on his crotch right there. So yeah, he is he is an Autobot through and through. I mean, he is the Ark. Oh, he also has these two massive ones on the side there as well. So yeah, I mean, he is the Ark, so he's obviously going to be a pretty faithful Autobot, right? So yeah, love that. And then if we go through here, here we have some very nice paint apps. You can see nice transclear yellow plastic on the chest right there. That's going to be the ARC cockpit. We have these nice blue sections picked out in paste. Nice yellow right there. Got some guns up there. None of the guns, I'll tell you this right up front, all of these guns that totally look like they're like ball jointed guns and you could like move them around, not one of them can actually do that. So that is a little disappointing, but it is what it is. So you got those two guns right there. Um, here's the back right here. As you can see, he doesn't really have a backpack. This piece pretty uh, pretty well compresses up and doesn't really look like much he does have these massive huge chonking knees though i mean um like thigh panels right here so yeah he does have that and then his arms right here i've heard a lot of people say that they don't like the way that this guy actually looks because he kind of looks like he's just wearing the arc as armor but i don't know i kind of i can see where they're coming from with that because like all these bits right here like all of this is not visible in the arc mode whatsoever but Honestly, I'm, I'm okay with the way he looks. I think he looks freaking cool, man. And um, another thing about this guy that definitely needs to be said is that there is absolutely a dip in quality overall with this figure. And by that, I mean the plastic quality. The plastic quality on this guy does not feel up to par with, say, Omega Supreme. Uh, it's pretty flexible. That like down here, it's very easily flexible right there. Also right here. And this piece especially, actually, this piece is super, super pliable and flexible so yeah the plastic on this guy is definitely weaker but that is probably because they wanted to throw in mainframe but they didn't want to increase the price so i'm personally i'm okay with that i'll take the sacrifice in the plastic quality to this extent because it he still feels great in your hand he doesn't feel like cheap or anything he still feels really great in the hand other than maybe this uh this torso piece but i'll talk about that more in a second but I am willing to take the sacrifices that was made for mainframe. I think mainframe is overall worth it. So yeah, um, that is one thing I wanted to say is the plastic quality. Another thing I will say, I really think that the articulation is pretty solid on this guy. All the ratchets are very nice, except for one ratchet. So yeah, these nice ratchets here, these are pretty nice. I, I think these are really smooth and nice. The hand ratchet as well, pretty fun. Um, the legs as well, that one's a little tough, but uh, I don't know. I think, and then this one right here is also really nice. I really, really, really enjoy transforming this guy. I'll say that right up front. Um, but I will say that one ratchet in particular, this one right here, this uh, elbow ratchet is not fun. I do not like moving this one because it is, it does not feel good. It does not feel good. And that one is actually vital for the transformation. So I don't know. That's like the one step of the transformation that I don't really like. And I really just don't like those ratchets. They just don't feel good at all. 
Every other ratchet feels really, really, really nice on this guy. I heard Perspective N say every single ratchet on him suck, but I honestly only think that it's just uh, the elbow ones. I think all the other ratchets are pretty nice. Even the waist one down here is pretty nice in my opinion, so yeah. Uh, I just wanted to say that about the the uh, shoulders there, because that is definitely something that I thought about this guy. But um, I think he looks freaking sweet. Now, his hands are a little weird. I will say that his hands are a little bizarre from what you're used to with Transformer figures. But, hey, it is what it is. I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks pretty cool. It would have been nice if they could have thrown in some extra articulation, maybe not made the hands all one separate piece, because all the, the fingers are one separate piece, and then the thumb moves out. And it would have been nice if they could have made the thumb go, like, up, so we could give you, like, a thumbs up. That would have been nice. But, uh, it is what it is. Um, they are on hinges, so I'm sure a third-party company could totally put out, like, an upgrade kit you can pop these off, off these uh fingers off of the hinges and uh plug in new ones so that would be nice overall if uh, if we had that as well now he does have light piping in his uh in his head sculpt right here you can see you do have light piping right there it does work pretty well you can see his eyes are pretty effectively glowing if we shine some light in there Nice, nice light piping right there. So that is always lovely. Always appreciate light piping. Um, talking about his torso for a second here. So this, the way that his torso pegs in, I don't like it all. That's one thing I will say I genuinely don't like about this guy is the way his torso pegs in place because it pegs in place really well in arc mode, but in robot mode, it, it just goes into these weird slots right here. You have these really thin and bizarre looking slots right here. And then they come down, they go into this piece right here and they don't even go in all the way. They they only go in that much. You can see you have this massive gap. If you look in his uh, in his in the uh, torso right there, and it would have been so much nicer if this could compress all the way down. Now, if it could, it would have made storing mainframe in his body a whole lot harder. But personally, I don't think that's a big deal because I think 90% of people are probably not going to keep mainframe as the bridge for the arc. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be leaving him out as either the rollout mode or Teletran one. So I don't know. I don't think that was really worth the sacrifice. It would have been much nicer if you could have compressed that all the way in, and that would have made him look a lot cooler overall in my opinion or just better overall in my opinion um beautiful paintwork on the uh, thrusters as well we'll talk about that more in the arc mode but overall i personally like the robot mode i will say i will say straight up i don't think that this is the standout for this figure this is one of the few transformer figures that i'm sure 90 percent of people are going to be getting for its alt mode and I haven't been able to decide yet. I have been flipping him back and forth constantly. Um, I haven't been able to decide what mode I want to leave him on the shelf in, but I'm leaning much more towards the arc mode because I will tell you straight up, the arc mode probably is a little better overall. But uh, I do dig the robot mode. I have a lot of fun with this robot mode. I think it's cool. I think the articulation's fun. Um, he does have some nice angle pivot down here. The cheaper plastic is, a, is definitely something to keep in mind, but... I don't think it detracts from him at all. I still think he's a lot of fun to play with, and uh, you know, these, those ratchets I don't like at all. But uh, all the other ratchets are perfectly fine. It's just, it's just those ones. But. There you go. That is just about everything to talk about with the Ark in robot mode. He is such a big boy, man. He is such a big boy. Let's go ahead and do comparisons with the Ark, and then we'll move into mainframe. All right, time for some big boy comparisons. Let's do it. All right, here he is with Omega Supreme. So you can see he's basically the same size as Omega Supreme. You can see from the head, uh, from the head, he's basically the same size. Obviously, Omega's gonna be a little bigger with his wings, but uh, yeah, pretty much the same size as Omega. Oh, he's heavy. Here he is with Armada Unicron. You see how he looks with that? There you go. Here he is with, oh, you're a big boy. Combiner Wars Devi. There you have that. Definitely a lot bigger than Combiner Wars Devi. Mm, big boy. All right, here he is with, let's, uh, yeah, let's do some standard. Here he is with Earthrise Prime. You little baby. Here he is with King Rodimus. Here he is with uh, Core Class Optimus. And you know what? We'll also go ahead and grab Core Class Megatron. So, you know, you can totally put Core Class Megatron in his hand right there. Have some fun with that. So, there you have that. And uh, ooh, one more. I got one. Let's do this. Here he is with Commander Class Jetfire. So, there you go. Let's give you a good sense of how he scales. Oh, actually, one more. One more. Here he is with Kingdom Cyclonus. So, there you go. That'll be, that'll be our last one. Actually, we're just going to do one more, just so you can get a basic sense of how he scales with a deluxe class WFC trilogy figure. There he is with Sideswipe. 
So yeah, as you can see, he is the same exact size as Omega Supreme. I thought, uh, I, I, I did hear from some people before this guy came out that he was going to be a smaller Titan class, but no, he's the exact same size as Omega Supreme. The size was not sacrificed in this figure, just the uh, plastic quality. So there you have that. And the reason the plastic quality was sacrificed was for Mainframe. So here's Mainframe. He is included with the arc, and he is a really cool little bot. There's a lot to love about this guy. So here he is. He does look pretty cool. Some nice paint apps right there on the torso. I like the silver, the yellow right there. Beautiful light piping visor right there on uh, on uh, on the head right there. His head sculpt is super loose though. That is definitely something. And just like the arc, this is definitely not like a standard WFC trilogy figure in terms of plastic quality. For example, his arms and the 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 mushroom joints on this guy they just pop off. They just love to pop off. Now, if you're careful with it, they won't pop off during like transformation or anything. But if you grab it, they they will come off like that. So yeah, you can definitely know notice a, a decline in plastic quality between him and the Ark, but I think overall it was a worthy sacrifice to get him because he is pretty cool overall. Um, so yeah, he looks really cool in robot mode right there. I do like him. His articulation's fine. He got 90 degree bends at the elbows, no uh, no wrist swivel, so that's a little annoying, um, but nice 90 degree bend at the knee right there. Nice ankle pivot. You do have a uh, an ankle pivot right there, an actually pretty decent one, and a little swivel as well, but that's more for transformation. So yeah, um, I do think he is uh, pretty cool overall, so very cool. There is the back. That is the bridge for uh, the arc, which we'll talk about a little later on. But uh, I do think that uh, mainframe is pretty cool. But before we continue, I do want to show that he also comes with two very cool blue jet fire blast effects. So that is pretty cool. And if you want to, you can do two things. You can do one or two things with this. You can either give this to mainframe as some kind of lightsaber sword or something. I don't know. It totally works in my opinion. Or you can plug them into the thrusters on the arc right here and that would make more sense for uh, his uh, arc mode. But you can totally use him as like me blasters. I don't know. He didn't come with an actual gun or anything. So uh, I don't know. If he has uh, firepower, that's probably what it's going to be. Although I'm not sure he needs firepower. <laughs> so there you go. Um, those are also included. And then the other thing that is included, this was a very cool addition as well. The golden discs. You get both of the golden discs. You get the sounds of earth golden disc right here and you also get the alien disc right there. Although I will say a small bit of disappointment. Um, the Sounds of Earth one, it does have the Sounds of Earth on the back and it is the record, but so does the Alien Disc, which is a little lazy because the Alien Disc is supposed to be mirrored, it's supposed to be this design on both sides. So it was a little lazy there, but it's pretty easy to just like, you know, just look at it from here and it's not that big a deal. And I do really like these, although I will say that incorporating them with your Beast Wars figures, like like I've, uh, I have shown, I have done this, so you can take Megatron here and give him the alien disc right here. And this one is not so bad. It's just the Sounds of Earth one. This one's not so bad. You can totally give Megatron the uh, alien disc right there, which is pretty darn cool. He can hold it like that, although he doesn't want to for some reason. This is kind of what I was talking about, although it's much more prolific on uh, on Dinobot, but it's okay if, because he usually was holding it like like this anyway. So you could totally have him displayed like that, which is pretty cool. But with Dinobot, unfortunately, I haven't been able to get him to hold the Sounds of Earth disc because his hands don't close in enough and they don't they don't grip it as you can see there. He can't he can't grip the golden disc right there, which is really unfortunate. The only thing I can think of that you could do is if you like hold it like this and like stick it in both hands and then kind of like stick it like that. So there you go. You could kind of do that. So that works overall, but you can't have him hold it with one hand. So I don't know. This still kind of works. You can have him admiring the sounds of Earth Golden Disc right there. So that is pretty cool. Well, I mean, I wonder if you could pull it up over his head and get like a Code of Hero shot going on right there. I'm sure you could. Too bad you don't have any uh, laser laser eye effects for Kingdom Dinobot yet. Get on that third party companies. Come on. There we go. Yeah, you can totally get a nice... Code of Hero pose right there as well. So that's pretty cool. So overall, honestly, yeah, the Golden Discs work pretty well with your other Kingdom figures, but I do think it's a disappointment that uh, Dinobot can't hold it with one hand because I was kind of just going to put it in his hand and just have him hold it to the side like that. I wasn't really going to display him like this, but... Uh, it is what it is. That is uh, that is what it is. So they have that as well. If you want to store the golden discs, you can just open up mainframes back here and they just go right in there. I'll grab the, the uh, alien disc right here and you can just stick them in there and the other one will go right in there as well. So there you go. Alrighty, um, I think we can go ahead and jump into transformation. I think we'll go ahead and do mainframe first because, uh, yeah, we're going to transform him into Teletrend 1 mode. 
All right, Mangram has one of the absolute weirdest and most unique transformations I have personally ever seen. So let's get into it. So first thing we're gonna do is you want to flip in his hands right there and then bring his arms up like that. And then we're gonna take the legs here. We're going to actually we're just gonna take the back piece here. We're going to untap it from there and bring it out on that double hinge you can see right there. And then we're going to rotate the waist around like that. We're gonna flip his head around and fold it in just like that. And then we can bring this up and you can see those tabs are gonna go into those little slots on either side just like that. You have a little surveillance disc right there, which is awesome that you can leave that in uh, almost. You wanna bring these little panels up. You wanna rotate the arms this way and you wanna flip these little panels up just like that and then tab them in to the sides on right there. So you have that going up in the front. Then you wanna take his backpack here. You wanna flip this bit out like that and then you wanna untab that and put it there. And then you wanna do the same thing on the other side here just like that and then you want to come to the legs you want to flip these out they're going to fold out just like that and then you're gonna get this little bit over here this is kind of a uh, flexi plastic and you want to bring this all the way up just like that and then take the foot and rotate about that and then you want to do the same thing on the other leg so fold this entire piece out just like that bring this flexi bit out like that rotate the foot around just like that tab the legs together and then you're just gonna collapse this up and connect it in right there and get those little bits underneath there on both sides and you want to also get that bit tapped in right there and there you have teletran one in i mean um mainframe in his all mode and he is teletran one which is really freaking cool man this is such a unique transformation man i really love it like if you look at him from the back here he just looks this is a really interesting transformation like, you, like he just folds out into teletran one basically the whole robot mode is just on the back so i don't know i just think that's a really cool and unique transformation and here you have mainframes teletran one mode and yeah it is sweet i absolutely love the way that this looks this is so cool you got all of the nice screens right there you got the arc screen right there it looks like a uh, vector sigma over there and then over here some kind of like glow picture right there that's really cool the matrix down there that is awesome man this is such a cool thing to include with this figure and i mean come on when you when you think about this it's totally worth the little plastic quality decrease and engineering as well i will say that he's a little less engineered than most titan class figures um, but it's worth it because the Teletron one is so cool and I'm sure this is what 99% of people are going to put uh, mainframe into because the raw mode's cool and all but this this is the real standout for uh, mainframe here but you can also if you see here another really awesome addition that they did not have to throw in here but they totally did is they added the little surveillance globe right there that scans vehicle modes for the Autobot so you can pop this out and it just plugs into that little peg right there and you can just fold these pieces out right there and you can have this thing going around scanning Autobot vehicle modes right there which is super super cool I absolutely love that and you can leave this in here indefinitely you never have to take it out it can be transformed into all three modes without removing the uh, surveillance globe right there so that is a super cool and fun addition as well I, I love that they included that that was such a nice touch um so yeah beautiful beautiful mode uh, there's not much to say about this the transformation is super unique i've never seen anything like it before but it's pretty fun overall not bad at all R really fun honestly i i think it's a lot of fun and uh, i think the result is awesome you couldn't even tell this guy was a robot unless you looked at him from the side there then it's pretty fucking obvious but uh i think he looks cool man so there you have it there is main frames at Teletran one mode. I will give some comparisons with this. For comparison with mainframe, here he is with Optimus and Rodimus right there. So you can see he's basically a Voyager class figure. So yeah, you're basically getting an extra Voyager class figure with the arc here. So I personally think that's worth it. Like the decrease in plastic quality and engineering on the arc is totally worth this uh, mainframe figure right there. So there he is with Optimus and Rodimus. Here he is with Megatron and Galvatron. Bring this back a little bit. Once again, I pretty much think he's Voyager class or maybe big deluxe class, like, like larger deluxe class. I don't know. We'll bring in a couple of those right now then. Okay, so for some big deluxe classes, here is Crosshairs and Trailbreaker. And yeah, I think he pretty effectively is Voyager class. You can see he is a bit taller than uh, these uh, bigger deluxes here, Crosshairs and Trailbreaker, both being pretty big deluxes. I think, uh, yeah, I definitely think um, Mainframe here has definitely entered uh, Voyager class. Here he is with Cyclonus. Here he is with Inferno, just to show you that he is definitely a Voyager class. So there you go. Alrighty, and just so you can see how the Teletrain 1 compare, uh, scales with the WFC Trilogy figures, here he is with Earthrise Prime, and yeah, I think that looks about right, maybe a little small, but I still think that works overall, that's not too bad, um, here is, see, side swipe right there, so you can see how it goes with a Deluxe, so yeah, honestly, actually, I think he might be a little smaller than he should, but overall, I still think this is perfectly workable as a Teletrain 1 figure collection, like Optimus Prime, if he wants to, like, use this thing, he's gonna have to sit down, and, you know, that's, uh, doesn't happen very often, so, I don't know, I do think it might be a little small, but it per it's perfectly serviceable for a, uh, a Teletrain 1, I definitely think it fills the bill, it fits the bill, uh, perfectly fine. I don't think really anything needs to be said about how he scales. I think he scales pretty much perfectly with just about all of your WFC Trilogy figures. That was probably the main goal with this figure was for him to be an in-scale Teletran 1 for the display. And I think he does that absolutely perfectly. So there you go, mainframe in his Teletran 1 mode. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to transform the big boy. And I will tell you, man, before you get this transformation, I love this transformation. This transformation is so fun, so addicting, so satisfying. I, I love it. I haven't been able to put him down, man. I haven't been able to stop transforming this guy since I got him. He is just so fun. So here we go. 
All right, transformation. This is an all-timer transformation, man. This is like the only time a Titan class figure has actually been genuinely fun to transform, in my opinion. So first off, we're gonna come to the arms here, and we're gonna take his hands, rotate them this way, and fold them in just like that. And then you want to swivel them in like this, and then collapse them up like that, and then we'll tap in place right there. Do the same thing on the other side here. So bring his hand up, bring your view down there, bring it this piece back, fold it in there, rotate, and then fold it up into the shoulder assembly just like that. At this point, we can go to the legs here. We're going to take his feet, flip them in just like this, and they will tap in place in the bottom there. Then we're going to rotate him at the waist here, just like so. Uh, we'll go ahead and take his arms here. You're going to rotate them on these disgusting ratchet joints. Like I said, I really just don't like those ratchet joints. That's like the one bit of the transformation that I don't absolutely love. And then we're going to take this piece right here. We're going to actually first we're going to do the legs. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the legs, bring them up, fold them this way, and then fold the knee in all the way just like that. And then you can see you have these little clip bits right here, and these are going to tap. Those are going to clip into that little tab right there. So just get that in there and get that tab in place right there. It's not super solid, but it does the job okay. Uh, and then you're going to do the same thing on the side. Bring this that way, and then bring that in, and get that closed in there. Those are going to tab together, and then to lock it in place, you're just going to open this little door up and then flip out this little bit right there, and it will lock all that together just like that. So you have that going on. Oh, my back is hurting. Okay, we're almost done. Though. We go ahead and lay him down. Actually, um, now we're going to take the back, the, the this bit right here. We're going to open him up. We're going to do some surgery on him here. We're going to open him up. We're going to take these bits, fold them out to the sides, fold those bits out, flip this piece up, and then you want to flip that piece up, and then you want to put these pieces in just like that. And then you want to take the arms, fold them in, and then you're going to fold them down right there. I love that step. And then they tab in to a little tab down there. So once again, take the arm, fold it in, and then fold it down just like that. I love that step, man. That is like my favorite part. And then you want to bring this piece down just like that. It will tab these two pieces. Will tab into little bits on the side there. They just go right in place. And you just want to get all this connected right there. This piece is supposed to connect into these two tabs right here, but honestly, don't even bother. It, it's not going to happen. And honestly, it, it stays together perfectly fine. Um, so yeah, that bit right there. And then you're going to take this little cockpit piece here, and this is just going to untap from the back, flip around, and it's going to conceal his head just like that, and then just lock that in place just like that. And you have some nice landing gear down here, which is just wonderful. And there you have the arc in his uh, arc mode. This is like the one time the vehicle mode is actually the name of uh, of the robot. So there you go. And here you have the arc mode, and oh my god, dude, this is so sweet. I love this so much. He looks so cool. Honestly, though, there are some issues in the arc mode, but man, this thing is so cool. It's so cool having a Titan class Transformer that doesn't just turn into like a sitting robot that's supposed to be a city, he actually turns into a vehicle. This is just so cool. We need more Titan class Transformers that actually turn into shit rather than just doing some yoga. So. I absolutely love this. I love the way that this came out, man. He is so cool, so fun to play with, man. You can just whoosh this thing around all day. It is so fun. Um, really fun to play with your core class figures with. He doesn't exactly scale with them, but it is pretty cool to play with your core class figures with him if you want to. Um, there are some features, some nice features overall, but one thing I will say before we get into the features, he doesn't hold together all that well. But it, the thing is, while he doesn't hold together all that well, he still holds together. He just doesn't like to like, you can see that. That, like flex there that shouldn't be a thing like you can see you have all of these locking tabs with this guy but barely any of them actually kind of work you can kind of you can kind of fumble with them but no matter what they are never all going to connect together and honestly I don't think it's worth it it still holds together just fine like it's not gonna like come apart or anything like that so Overall, I still think it is uh, perfectly fine. Um, obviously, there is these giant gaps right here that a lot of people have complained about. Well, this is not. It certainly would have been nice if they could have enclosed something over them so that they wouldn't. They weren't there, but. Hey, it's not that big a deal. I'm not going to make a huge deal out of it. I think it's, uh, you know, maybe an upgrade kit can give us a, 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 a little bit for it. Because I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting to care about it at all. Once I got it in hand, I kind of saw what everybody was talking about. Like, this is pretty, this is pretty lazy overall. But, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. I mean, nothing's going to change the fact that is that is what it is. You have to deal with it if you want this awesome figure. So, yeah. Um... Definitely a complaint I can point out, but uh, the features with this guy are super, super cool. So you have beautiful landing gear. This guy has like the best landing gear ever because it's these massive panels that flip out down here and they lock in place and they are just so cool. And you can just stick this guy up here. He just looks really awesome just resting on the landing gear right there. Absolutely beautiful. I love, love the way that looks. And you also have this really cool little door in the back right there, which is also really cool. And you do have some space up there, so you can probably fit like core class bumblebee up there i don't know i bet core class bumblebee could fit up there so yeah very cool this is spring loaded you just pull this little bit right here and it opens that up right there which is pretty freaking cool but uh i absolutely love the arc mode i cannot say it enough i love the arc mode this is so freaking sweet dude i just love it i think he looks so damn cool in this mode and this is probably where i'm gonna be leaving him but like I said, I haven't been able to put him down, man. I have I have transformed this guy back and forth at least 20 times already, and I've only had him for a day. So yeah, uh, this guy is so much fun. He is so much fun, and this arc mode is so cool. And here's the back as well, because man, that looks cool, man. All those thrusters, that looks so cool. And of course, if you want to, you can totally use the thruster bits right here to uh, show him 
blasting off right there, which is pretty cool. Although it would have been nice if they included four, but hey, it is what it is. That does look pretty cool overall. So I absolutely love the ARC mode. I cannot say that enough. Most people are going to be buying this for the ARC mode. And if that's why you want it, yeah, definitely, 100%, this is the best arc ever. I mean, there's not really another option, and, like, this is, like, another case of, like, MMC Coulter. This is, if you want an arc, you only have one option, but you have an amazing, awesome option. So, really freaking awesome. I love this. Now, um, for mainframe, you can incorporate mainframe into um, the arc here. Honestly, I don't, I don't really know why you'd want to do this. It doesn't do much, and it really just just takes away your mainframe, so I don't know, but I will show this real quick. So first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna open up this bit right here. You wanna just untab these bits that we tabbed in for the transformation right here. And then you just pull this bit up and that's gonna bring that piece back as well, just like that. And uh, bring this piece up just like that so you have that big hole right there in the torso. We're gonna set the arc down. We're gonna bring in mainframe here. All right, so you take mainframe here, you're just gonna, gonna connect. Well, first, actually, you wanna rotate his feet around. You just wanna rotate his feet around 360, just like that, on both sides. Just rotate the feet around, just like that. And then you're gonna connect the legs together, just like that. And then you wanna take the whole body here, just like we do to transform into Teletran 1, and you wanna untab that from there. You wanna go ahead and rotate the uh, waist assembly, just like that. You wanna bring it up, you want to flip the head in, just like that, rotate it around also, and then bring that piece up and lock it in place just like that. And then you wanna take the arms and fold them in this way and they might pop off. And then you wanna bring them down and you have a slot right there that'll go into a tab right there on both sides. Make sure you flip in the hands as well. So you have that going on right there. And then you just wanna take the legs and you want to bring them up and you have a peg and a slot right there on both sides and those are gonna go into the peg and slot right there, the peg and tab right there in the legs. So you just wanna bring this up and get all of that tabbed in place on both sides just like that and get everything squared away. And this is the bridge mode for the arc. Now this is this is why I say that I don't really understand why anybody in their right mind would do this, why anybody would sacrifice their mainframe or Teletran 1 to have this block that has like this little bit right here that you can barely see when the arc is actually closed up. Um, they, I will say that it did come with a little Optimus Prime, but I lost it almost immediately because I, I don't give two shits. <laughs> but it came with a little Babby Optimus Prime figure. If you don't, uh, if you want it, it will be there and, you know, just don't lose it. But I didn't give two shits. It fell out and I have no idea what happened to it. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to bring the Ark in back here. Oh, he's a big boy. And we're going to grab a mainframe here. And literally all you're just going to do is you're just going to stick him in the hole. And I don't think he even tabs in at all. I'm pretty sure he just friction fits in there. And uh, that's it. He does friction fit pretty well, though. Not, not, not to say he'll fall out easily or anything. And I will say, once you get him in there and you close him up and you look at it and you, like, look through the window, I will say it looks cool. Like, it does look cool to have mainframe in there. You can see, if you, like, look into the window here, you can barely see on my camera here, but you can kind of see, like, the details and whatnot. But is that really worth sacrificing the mainframe figure or the Teletran one? In my opinion, I don't think so. But... That's the thing you can do if you want to do it, but me personally, I'm definitely going to be taking mainframe out and displaying him separately as either mainframe or Teletran 1. So, I don't know. I don't really see the point of doing that, but if you want to do it, you totally can. But, uh, yeah, there you go. I mean, you can totally look in there, and you, while, well, again, you can't really see it on camera that well. In person, you can look in there and see all that, like, detail, whatnot, if you, like, get right up to it. But, again, is it really worth sacrificing your mainframe figure? So, I don't know. You can make that decision on your own time. Me, personally, I don't think so. So, there you go. That is just about everything to talk about with the ARC. I adore this alt mode. I cannot say that enough. This is one of the few Transformers that I feel is going to be purchased mainly for its alt mode. And, uh, yeah, I just, I love this thing, man. It is so cool. So, I'll give you some comparisons in the ARC mode. And for comparison, here he is with Commander Class Jetfire. Big old jets, big old ships and airplanes and whatnot. So there you have that. Here he is with Kingdom Cyclonus. Ugh. Here he is with Earthrise Prime. And lastly, here he is with Core Class Prime. And once again, while not perfectly in scale, hey, it works overall. You can have some fun with that overall. Like if we spin over the arc here and you want to like bring that piece down and like, I don't know, you can totally have some fun with that if you wanted to. And one more here is uh, Teletran 1 mainframe. So there you go.
So final thoughts on Kingdom the Autobot arc. I love it. I, I love this thing. I think this thing is so cool, man. I, I really do love it. And not just because it's a big orange transformer, so obviously I'm going to love it because I love orange and I love big orange transformers, but I think this thing is sweet, man. I think this thing is super fun to play with. I think both modes are a lot of fun to be had. The transformation is stupid fun. I, I cannot stress enough how fun and satisfying the transformation is, man. I love it so much. It honestly might be among my favorite transformations. I've had this guy for a day and I honestly think his transformation is an all-timer. It is so fun. Um, there are things to definitely point out that are lacking on this figure. Like overall, I would not say this figure is anywhere near as good as Omega Supreme, but I will say, I think he's more fun than Omega Supreme. Omega Supreme is certainly the superior figure and is still my favorite Transformer figure of all time. Don't get it twisted. But this guy's more fun. I will be taking this guy off the shelf way more than Omega Supreme. You can count on it because He's just so much fun, man. There is so much fun to be had with this figure. I cannot put him down. I genuinely have not been able to put this guy down. He was in my bed with me the whole day yesterday. I love this dude, man. He is so cool. So, yeah, that's all I really got for you. Um, final thoughts, a final grade on the arc. Um, man, I mean, I know he probably doesn't deserve it, but I gotta say S tier. I think he's worth getting for any Transformer collector, especially if you want an arc. This is something we've wanted for a long time, and we finally have it, and it's such a wonderful representation of it with a lot of fun to be had, a great robot mode, a really cool little extra bot as well that gives you a Teletran 1 as well for your display, which is awesome. Golden discs for your Beast Wars figures. Man, this is an absolute S tier. I'm not even hesitating, man. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome figure. Definitely pick him up. Got mine off of Amazon. I do believe they are finally in stock. It took a very long time for them to get in stock for me, but I did get them on, off of Amazon. Um, so yeah, go ahead there. I would say not to go over retail price though. If this guy gets re-released and he's more expensive, I don't know. You'll have to make that decision for yourself, but for retail price, I say he's absolutely worth it. So yeah, I love this guy. I honestly, like, I think he is sweet. I really do. So yeah, S tier in my opinion. I think he is just so cool. So there you have it, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe give me a like and subscribe for more Transformer reviews in the future. Let me know your thoughts on Kingdom, Titan Class of the Ark. And with that, before we move on, finally, I can finally say that the next video will, in fact, be the Kingdom Wave 3 ranking because this was the final figure I needed for Kingdom Wave 3. I've literally been teasing this Wave 3 ranking for so long, and it is finally coming next video. So there you go. Let me know if you are excited for the Kingdom Wave 3 ranking. I certainly am. I am certainly am looking forward to finally getting that ranking done because man it has been i've had like 90 percent of kingdom way three for so long now and haven't been able to do the ranking so they have it everybody let me know all of your thoughts on everything i just mentioned in the comment section down below and with that being said this is dk guillotine uh signing out